Hey guys, Brian from Snowwalker Pushback. And today, for the last in the Winter Skill Series on uh, cold injuries, um, I think that we have to be aware of, I want to talk about snow blindness. Right? Snow blindness basically is sunburn of the eyes. How is it caused? The eyes are not protected from the UV rays that are actually bouncing off the snow and reflecting back up. Alright, how do we prevent it? Well, basically, a pair of sunglasses. Alright, this will help greatly to reduce the amount of UV rays that are actually hitting your eyes. Wearing wide brim hats, baseball hats, things of that nature. Um, but speaking of sunglasses, uh, in case you didn't know, you know, go out and spend some good money on a good pair of sunglasses. Alright, don't buy these cheap $2 sunglasses. Alright, the only thing that those are going to do is they actually dilate your eyes so that they open up wider because it's just a dark shade because the eyes are searching for more light so that they can see through the glass or the dark glass itself. Alright, and you're getting more UV rays into the eyes. So go buy yourself a pair of Oakleys, a pair of Ray-Bans, something halfway decent. You know, your eyes are, you only have two of them and you need to protect them. Now, of course, somewhere along the lines, on the internet, on everybody's survival site, they always wear a pair of homemade goggles. And you can wear them, you can make them out of birch bark, you can make them out of cardboard that you may have lying around in your pack. Right? My favorite ones are duct tape. I've done a couple of modifications to the basic layout your duct tape cut a few holes and then cut your nose hole. And I'll show you how that's done right now. What do you do? Essentially what you saw when I put that piece on the top of the duct tape is to give it a little bit of rigidity and because most people when they make these, even when they make them with birch bark, they make them so that they really conform tightly to their face. The problem is they don't take into consideration, they don't take in your eyelashes. Your eyelashes will get stuck in these slits if you keep blinking your eyes. So I added rigidity to it so that when it's on your face, it creates a gap between your eyes and the slits. This way it doesn't impair your vision any more than it has to be right now. It also creates side cups on the side of your face to allow less light coming in off the sides. Alright, lastly, something that I don't know why people don't bring out and why they don't use, but what I wanted to show you at the end here is I had a fire going. I didn't need it for warmth, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to get charcoal. Right? Something that you may want to also do is 
You see football players that put charcoal underneath the eyes, right? You can do that, and that'll greatly reduce the amount of glare that is hitting underneath your eyes. So you can put charcoal right here underneath your eyes. Right, take your charcoal, put it underneath your eyes. And the other thing that you can do is you can put it on the inside of your goggles. That will also help reduce the amount of glare that's in your eyes. So, of course, everybody that makes a pair of these goggles, you always put them on and they show how ridiculous they look and how they look like Batman. And there they are. Okay, you didn't think I was going to put them on and look like an idiot, did you? No way. He pulls it off a lot better. He's a good boy. All right. So this is Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft, along with Wonder Dog Tonka. Thank you for your views and your comments. Until the next one, walk the woods. Yeah, don't you look like Batman? Yeah.